Now the BJP will release its manifesto for the Manipur elections tomorrow. It will be a high-profile event as the BJP national president JP Nadda will be releasing the party manifesto. Now Nadda will be arriving in the poll-bound state tomorrow afternoon. This was informed by Union Minister of State for External Affairs RK Ranjan in an exclusive conversation with Northeast Live. Now the Union Minister said that the manifesto is based on people's aspiration. RK Ranjan also denied any delay in release of the poll manifesto. Now although the AFSPA and the ST status to the Meite community issues are not included in the manifesto, the Union Minister assured that the BJP will continue to pursue such matters and bring things to its logical end. All right, this is indeed a big story we're tracking at the minute. The BJP will release its manifesto for the Manipur elections tomorrow. It will be a high-profile event as the BJP national president, JP Nadda, will be releasing the party manifesto. Now, Nadda will be arriving in the poll-bound state tomorrow afternoon. This was confirmed by Union Minister of State for External Affairs, RK Ranjan, in an exclusive conversation with Northeast Live. Now, the Union Minister said that the manifesto is based on people's aspiration. RK Ranjan also denied any delay in the release of the poll manifesto. Now, although the ASPA and the ST status to the Meite community issues are not included in the manifesto, the Union Minister assured that the BJP will continue to pursue such matters and bring things to its logical end. With me is Dr. R. K. Ranjan, who is the Union Minister of State, Education and External Affairs, and above all, this, he's also the BJP Manifesto Committee chairman, sir. Sir, when we can expect the BJP releasing manifesto? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, will, by 12 noon, it will be released by our Honorable National President, Sri J.P. Nandaji. Sir. Mm. So, uh, when he's dressing in parcel, Zepi Nadda? By 12. By 12, mm. in the noon, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, my question is very simple, sir. Mm. Why you take long time to release election manifesto? No, it's not a long time. We are studying. We are studying, we are receiving all the aspirations of the peoples. You know, Manipur, different communities is there. More than 34 ethnic communities is there. We have to cover all their aspirations to have a holistic approach. That's why we took some time. Otherwise, if we sit in the table and writing something, we can do it within a week. But we are in the really in the field. We are meeting, we are interaction. And after that, those findings are accumulate, a, 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 a editing to us. Sir, can, you, uh, can, can we expect something in your manifesto reflecting people's aspirations, sir? No. Our manifesto is totally based on the aspirations and the idea reflected by the people. That's why we say that our manifesto is Manipur People's Manifesto. Did you, can, did you include this, all this AFASPA and the Central Type Demand Committee in the manifesto? No. No. This is a normal governmental process. And our manifesto, as I have said, that it is totally the a kind of politics, what kind of politics, if you ask, I will reply very easily that it's a developmental politics. We are confined only that. If the peoples give the power to us as it given in earlier, we will do these things for the economic development, for the infrastructure development, and for the effective implementation of national education policy 2020. Okay. We are also hoping to uh, the uh, really, uh, money free from that upper spa and the situation when the situation permit naturally it will be go, uh, gone out and about the schedule cars I just attended the last session and we come to know that to declare a community as ST or SC it needs a long process survey work anthropological survey of India report and many others, uh, academic approach is there, survey is there, after finding that uh, it will be declared.